How long should they live before we do this humane slaughter on them? How much happiness should they have? If God put these animals here, everything's made in God's image. It's okay to kill a happy dog? Yes. It's insane cruelty, violence and torture. Why should we not have that right? Well, the same reason I should not have that right to do it to you. You've got me. You've got, you've done me in a loop there. What's your name, bro? Joseph. Joseph? What's your name? Joseph. Yeah, that's easy. My name's Joey, yeah. I've got a sign here. Um, did you read the sign? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you I think? walked past and then came back and was like, yeah, it's f***ing interesting. It's interesting. What do you, not, do you I'm agree not... or disagree with the sign? First? I disagree, but I... That's the thing, I'm open to conversation. I think that's the way you learn shit. Yeah. Like, I'm, not, I'm not too informed on like veganism and like and animal rights and, and animal abuse. So like that's before I come sit down, maybe learn something from you, you learn something from me. Okay. I want to know um, when you first read it, mm. like what went through your mind and what, what you disagreed with, like how you disagreed with it. Um, like when you when when you read the word vegan nowadays, it sort of comes to mind of like people manipulating vegans into some kind of like far left monster in a way. And so like unfortunately, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah. Like and and it's not the way I believe. But also I kind of walked past and I went, hmm, as kind of it's kind of a, a bold statement to go just because you believe in this one thing means you you support this other yeah. statement and it's and it's kind of, this is kind of um, when you big something up and make someone seem worse because of the way they believe so saying someone supports uh, liberal democrats for example means that they're racist or, or something like that so it's, it, it seems like that but I'm my mum's vegetarian, I was vegetarian for nine months. Okay. It's different to vegan, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, okay. I was just hoping to learn something from okay, you. Okay, cool. And I get what you mean, I get what you mean, because there's a lot of anti-vegans out mm. there, and then they like to box you in and go, you're a far left-wing radical who's gonna scream at me or something like that. I know, I've seen all that. Yeah. But veganism is like um, a philosophy that is, um, it's opposed to the exploitation and cruelty to animals. Yeah. There's no, I mean, politics come into it because we want to change politics for the animals, in that sense. Yeah. And a lot of vegans will be consistent with with human injustices as well. Yeah. You know, so they might the say... They're intersectional. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So they might be like, well, if I'm against animal abuse, you know, then I should be against other forms of injustice as well. Exactly. So, so there are leaning, there are, if you look at a movement generally, they might be leaning more progressively because they want things to change. Exactly. Right? But uh, if you're talking about veganism, you're usually talking about animal rights non-human animal rights, yeah. right? And um, the reason I say support animal abuse, because you might think, oh, you just mean like, like, well, I believe that you know, it's some type of like philosophical support or something. I'm actually talking about you, you, you cause what happens to animals in slaughterhouses and farms I'm funding to happen. it by going to McDonald's, for example, it's, it's, and yes. you fund it in inadvertently. You go to the butcher, mm -hmm. you pay him for a steak. He has to replace that steak. Animals get raised and have their head cut off for that steak. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean when I say support. Yeah, and so it's, it's, it's less of like a ideological thing of you go out and one of your mentalities in, in a sense of like, so a racist will go out and go, oh, I do not like this certain kind of race. Whereas someone who supports animal rights, you're not saying that that's their mentality. You're saying that by their actions, they're inadvertently supporting it, right? I would say usually most people are against like what you would think of as animal cruelty. Yes. All right, so if I said, are you against animal cruelty? Yeah. When, when we go out here, mm. most people are against animal cruelty and you're one of them. And when, but when you go in to eat, use these products that uh, operate in a supply and demand system, yeah. you're supporting something that you're fundamentally against yourself. So that's your moral system you're opposed, you're, you're contradicting. So what would your, what would your proposal be to, to make people more, less, less contradicting of themselves? Yeah. What do you think animal cruelty is? Do you think eating meat is animal cruelty? No. And why not? Well, because there are humane way. I'm not saying that every, every. So if you eat humanely sourced meat, yeah. for example, right? And one of the few ways to get that is is from a butcher, like from a good old school traditional butcher. They're the ones. That, that, ironically, it's the reason why my mum became vegetarian because she dated one. But you think that that so so let's stop there because you say you can go into a local traditional butcher yeah. in a small town yeah and you can guarantee those those animals more often than not have been treated humanely no i'm not guaranteeing it. i'm just saying it's more likely it's than more likely. going to somewhere like a fast food chain where it's okay. mass produced okay, yeah. and and the chicken has been reformed and and okay. it, it's been 
tortured relentlessly. In I the get what kept. you're saying. Can I just show you something briefly? Yes. I'm not going to take up too much time, but I'm just going to show you what I just recently released. Mm. Just because this myth comes up a lot, and, and, yeah. and you're not you're not a fool for believing this. No. Because they're very clever with how they propagate this humane myth to people. So this is this is this is the slaughterhouse I visited, and. Uh, it was basically, uh, this is the owner, she's a grandma, mm. right? So she's a grandma, and this is a family-run slaughterhouse. Which, when you think of it, sounds like it's like going to be nice they and don't, peaceful. They don't, um, they don't supply um, supermarkets, only local butchers. Do you support that kind of, you, you believe in not eating meat at all, but if someone were to, do you believe that that's an okay thing to do? To, to, to quickly kill them before, if, if it had to be done, that would be the way it would be done. I don't believe it happens. I believe there might be some places where it, I, do, I do believe it's possible. Mm. Like with I, the uh, bolt gun, I believe. I it's, do believe yeah. it's possible. Um, I don't believe that most of the time it happens. Mm. I believe that you only know this because you've been told. Yeah. And you've ne you don't have. You haven't, you haven't seen hundreds of hours of slaughterhouses. No. No. Yeah. So basically, I don't think it happens for a practical mm. reason. But principally, they're, they're two different sort of arguments, aren't they? So yeah. does it pan out in reality? I don't think so no. because of. The investigations that we just recently done one here, where you know her son was um, not stunning animals correctly. He's grabbing this. You can't do this. Grab the no, that's on that's the abuse. Face. Yeah, that's abuse. And then bang. Yeah, yeah. It's disturbing as. F and that's not the only thing that happened. So Wait, that's anecdotal. Do you like? Because I'm more interested in not more interested. You're but more I'm, interested in statistically yeah. whether. It, okay, that is anecdotal. You, that, but it is horrifying, and that's yeah, that, but this that's, is this is an example of. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we we only left these. This is a random slaughterhouse. We left cameras in for two weeks. We pulled out cows trying to rip their horns off, trying to get get out the knock box. Because what they do is they see dead body. Because mm. they, they had and they understand what that means. They see a cow-shaped thing with blood all over it. They're mm. freaking out. They don't want to die. So when you see that, like you don't think it's right to treat an animal like that, eh? Let's just say it is an anecdote, mm. all right? So why why do you care though if you think it's okay to, to, to kill them? Like if, if it's done in your your the way that you believe is humane, why why would you care that they, they are in fear? Because that's not the way that I would believe it should be done in. Yeah, but wouldn't you say that that, that you you believe that the animal matters then if you believe they shouldn't be treated cruelly and in fear? Yeah. But there's so I believe in the way it should be done, right? And and it's and it's so easy to turn a blind eye. Yeah. Right? It's so easy to turn a blind eye because when you grow up, you you get all this stuff easy and you don't have to do it. Yeah. Right. And and in a perfect society, you'd do it yourself. Yeah. Like you'd be able to go out okay. and, and do it yourself and actually be confronted with it. And I, I I believe that a lot more people would be vegan and vegetarian, or or, or just yeah. care more about it if yeah. they were actually able to. And it's not something you think about on a regular basis. But no, I, I, I agree with you that it's, it's So there's two things horrible. I want to talk to you about. One is more often than not, you're you're not choosing where you, you're not going to this traditional local butcher, yeah? Oh no, because they're not accessible. Yeah, okay. So more often than not, you're eating out like mm. everyone else's. And more, statistically, most of the animals in the in the UK, do you think they're in on fields or do you think they're- No, where not are a they? chance. They're in tiny little cages. They're in factory farms. Yeah. Maybe not cages, but they are in big factory farms, yeah. big sheds filled with chickens, 40,000 chickens mm. in a shed. Uh, pigs are indoors, raised 90% of them are factory farmed here. Um, the animals go to a big slaughterhouse to be all killed in a big production line, and you have no idea what happens in that slaughterhouse because you never you never really see anything. Exactly. So so you're supporting now something that you're you're actually against in your own sort of philosophy yeah. here, even if you believe in humane slaughter, yeah? yeah? So you agree with that. So, so basically, by your own moral standard, you're doing something that you're Contradicting myself, yeah. Yeah, by your actions, yeah. So, in order for you to be consistent with your own worldview, you'd have to go to a place where you'd seen the animals be be knocked yeah. in the knock box, and uh, they they didn't experience fear or distress, and they were not, they were just out. Yeah. And they and, and also, I assume too, you would you would you would want them to be raised without cruelty either. Oh yeah. More often than not, you're going to get mutilations, you're going to get yeah, tortured animals, yeah. you're going to get families separated. This is how the industry works. They breed animals forcibly and they separate their families and they mm. contain them and then they kill them. They're, they're, they're ob they treat them like objects. Yeah. Let's just say there's a, a world exists where you can watch 24-7 what happens on the farm. These animals are happy. They're staying together with their families. Mm. They they are basically like they're in a big sanctuary. Well, how long should they live before we do this humane slaughter on them? How much happiness should they have? Well, because that's the thing. How do you measure a chicken's happiness? And and this is where it comes into question of of are they they are sentient beings, obviously, because they can they can think, they can feel. Like you you, you look at like a the way like a mother uh, cow looks after its calf. Obviously, that has emotions. But how do you measure? 
and and how that do I measure yours? How well, do you measure by, mine? by our standards of of our like our, our societal standards of happiness, which oftentimes aren't very accurate. So, do you have uh, a good job? Do you have the nice car? Do you have the nice family life? Which is very it's Westernized. Sub, it's very subjective, isn't it? It's very subjective. Yeah. So, how can we? We're, we're not Doctor Doolittle. We can't communicate with the animals. How do we measure what their levels of happiness are? Because through their, through their behavior, you can't, you can't, um, you can't quantify it in a scientific way. Like you yeah, can measure exactly. water, yeah, but you can measure an animal's well-being. Yeah, like you know if an animal's suffering. Yeah, there, that's, there's a whole thing about fear pheromones you being can, released into the meat, and that's a way of like testing. Yeah. You can actually test through pheromones. So you look like you're in pretty good well-being right now. I mean, a lot of people who are depressed. You wouldn't know, but to me, you seem like you're in a pretty even sort of well-being right now. You don't seem to no. messed up just by your behavior. Mm. So with an animal, you can you can measure their behaviours, and their behaviours when they're suffering are much different to when yeah. they they dance and they, they play. Yeah. The pigs like to play with each other, and you know they relax, and they you can see in their yeah. expressions. So I'm I'm talking about that yeah. by, by their behaviour. So how much of that should they be able to experience before you? It's entirely. Like, your, no, this yeah. is your. I'm only going off your worldview here. This is. You're, we're creating this situation that you mm. think is humane, and I want to just debunk the best possible situation in your eyes. That's where I want, want, want to take this. Because we already agree factory farming and being cruel to animals yeah. is wrong. We agree that bad slaughtering is wrong, and we agree that you're, you're probably supporting that most of the time. Mm. Yeah? I want to take it out to the best possible... I'm trying to change your philosophy. Yeah. No, and I want to know what your philosophy is, so we can attack it from its pinnacle point. Yeah. The only way I can phrase this is going to seriously harm my, not argument, my, my belief, but who are we to determine how long they should be happy for before we kill them? And that, I feel, might be your belief of who are we to determine. You're, so, you're, you're essentially saying you're choosing when you can rob their existence yeah. of them. And, and, and for what? For a sandwich? For our pleasure. For yeah. a burger? For, te for like a flavour on yeah. your tongue. And like a meal that you forget about. Mm. Do you remember what you had for breakfast three days ago? <laughs> exactly, so you don't even care enough about the yeah. breakfast, but you're, you've taken someone's life from them. Mm. You know? Someone I think is, do you, so you would refer to a chicken as someone? Yeah, I, I believe there's someone in there having a subjective experience of reality. Mm. So an experience has a subject in there, in, inside of them that has wants and desires and they mm. avoid things and they have their own personalities, which can be tested. Yeah. You, know, you can test, some pigs are grumpy, you don't want, some pigs love cuddles, yeah. some turkeys love cuddles, some turkeys are, you know, you can abuse an animal, they'll have trauma, that, 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 that animal's uh, cautious around certain people. Some animals like males, some like, like a, like a dog. Your dog, my, my dog's not good with men, so stand back. But women, my dog loves. Children, my dog's really good with. Just keep your, you know? Yeah. These, these are personality like traits. So there's, there's an individual inside of a, a dog, or a chicken, or a bird, Mm. having a subjective experience of reality just like you are not just your your reactions to the environment you're a you're a you're a subject there's someone inside of you yeah i do think for some reason my mind and maybe this is just the way we're conditioned but my mind goes to reject calling uh, something that i would look at as dinner someone you've been, I, been objectified yeah and, and and i think that may be a way for us to to be okay with it and it's, Spot on. And it's, 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 it feels like every argument I present is a way for me to justify. But then what I might call to question is why, so you argue what right do we have to, to determine the length of their happiness, to determine whether we put a bolt in their head or not, to determine whether we kill them humanely or not humanely. Why should we not have that right? Well, the same reason I should not have that right to do it to you. That's where, that's where it's, that's where the question of why is an animal lesser than a human being comes into question. And I, and I would argue... How, what do you mean lesser? So we can, we can go into the, the lesser. What do you mean by lesser? Oh, less, lesser... I'm not saying that's what I believe. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that's what gets called into question. Yeah, where, okay. when, uh, lesser as in, if I were to... I've seen police around. If I were to start beating you up right now, I don't know if I'd fare very well against you, but if I was to start beating you up right now, I'd get arrested for yeah. good reason, right? And if I, there are laws against beating up, like there's animal abuse laws, right? But if I was to kill you as opposed to killing an animal, the sentence would be completely different. Yeah. Well, we, the animals don't have rights in 
the world, they, some animals might have. You might be in trouble for killing a dog. Oh no no no! If you yeah. kick a pigeon in London, yeah. it's it's. But if it's, I killed a pig in my over. backyard, I probably won't get maybe uh, uh, maybe some slaughter guidelines. Maybe I'll get a slap on the wrist. Maybe yeah. I get a fine. Look, don't kill the pig in your backyard. Yeah. But you know, you can pay for killing of pigs all, all you want. You know. Mm. But I get what you're saying. Like yeah. we determine. So, but like you know, there's not not all humans are equal. Yeah. In every way. So, and when I say that, I'm not saying that we should treat them unequally. Yeah. I'm but saying there's that differences. Like, there's differences in our abilities. Yeah. Some people are born with handicaps, like severe mental handicaps, and we, we will look after them and look after them equally as we would with you. Yeah, but there's differences you approach them with. Yeah, we don't say, well, we can we can enslave these humans because yeah. they're not like they're not they're lesser than us. We say, well, let's protect them more. They're more vulnerable, mm. actually. You know, when elderly get more vulnerable, it's a, the the more vulnerable the victim, the greater the crime. And when you look at a chicken, how vulnerable is a chicken to you? You could just stomp on them, couldn't you? Incredibly. And that's, throughout history, it's been, it's been, we need to take over this. We need to take over this. And if you're stronger, you can, right? And, Might and makes right kind of thing. Survival of the fittest. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and that's a shame, uh, but... Imagine that, though. Imagine that world. Mm. Survival of the fittest. There's a reason we, we, we live in that world. We live in that world. No, we don't. Uh, not, not here in the UK. We oh, don't, no, 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 no. I'm, other places. I could target a lot of individuals here... Mm. And I could round them up with a gun and put them in a basement, and that survival of them, that's like they I wouldn't have to work a day in my life. They'd be cleaning my house, and you know, you know. Fucking but, hell. So we do have law, laws protecting human beings. Yes. Here. Like if you commit some type of hate crime against someone because of whatever their pro, whatever sort of um, section of society mm. they, they're in, you will go to prison. You know, but but animals we can essentially certain species of animals we can do. We can do whatever we like to them, but it's it's. There's a great picture that I saw a while ago where it's uh, like a chain of animals, like the, the theory of evolution, uh, man, where he like gets bigger. And yeah. it's similar to that where it's like a cat, chicken, dog. A horse. hierarchy. Yeah, the hierarchy. And then it's like, oh, these okay. are the ones that we're okay to eat. But then, and then you look at places like um, in, the, in the East where um, there's the festival of dogs. Newland uh, dog meat festival, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and where they eat dogs. And that to us is like, What do you think about that? Why the f- do you, do like, what, what, what do you think of that? What if they, what if, okay, we get the dogs. Mm. You agree, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say you will agree anyway that you shouldn't treat the dogs cruelly in that. But well, let's put the dog in the hypothetical situation yeah. you posed and they don't really know, but they're a happy dog. Yeah. Coolest f- dog. Think of the coolest dog you know, you've ever met. Yeah. Do they have a name? Pardon? What's the dog's name? Jonathan. Jonathan the dog. Stupid name, but. Jonathan. It's not right. mine. So we got Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan is about halfway through their life, mm. and they're just loving it, cold chilling, going with throwing frisbees. They're loving life. But then one day we lead them into a room. It's a dark mm. room. They don't see the gun coming. We shoot them in the back of the head. And our justification is, I kind of like, I like burgers, so yeah. like, go and chuck them in the burger. Do you think that that's justified? Yeah. Or and I'm okay? not saying that to just continually back up my point, and it's not something that I, yeah. I don't believe in, but I'm still going to say it to back up my point. I think, especially with the, the Dog Meat Festival, uh, uh, Ricky Gervais is a very prominent uh, animal rights activist, yeah. and he's been posting a lot about it recently, and especially about the Dog Festival. And I look at stuff like that, and I go, who, who are we to tell these people? Obviously, like, let's talk about it in humane conditions, in the hypothetical conditions. I, I don't agree with the way they do it now, because it's, it's, it's yeah, horrible. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. conditions they kept in, I've seen the videos. In a hypothetical scenario, who are we to say... We can't eat Jonathan, essentially. No. Who, who are you to tell me I can't eat Jonathan? Yeah. Yeah. And, and why, why are we dictating what happens to Jonathan and Jonathan doesn't come into it? Because not a human being and that's the f- thing that comes to my head. Yeah, so it's species. Yeah. Okay. Species... Ism is a phrase that I hear, thro- yeah, a word yeah. that I hear thrown around a lot, and, and, it, and it automatically you reach out and see it, and you go, "Oh, no, get off." This with that. discrimination, mm. like, um, it's happened within the human species mm. too, and it's just categorizing people into groups. Yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't until recently that um, indigenous people in Australia were not classed as uh, flora and fauna. I know. It was it's very. Sickening. You're, you're a straight. I'm Australian. from Australia. Yeah, 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 what happened to know. Aboriginals is sickening. Yeah, it's disgusting. They, they looked at them like animals. Yeah. Flora and fauna up uh, yeah. until very recently, which is a, which is a disgusting yeah. like justification. It's lowering the humans yeah. down to to animals. Mm. Right? Imagine if we didn't have that category to put them in. Yeah, and animals were actually respected. Yeah, you could never lower. I could never lower you to fauna. You know what I mean? Mm. Because we would respect animals. You know what I'm saying? So this speciesism thing is actually more violent than. Out, has more violent outcomes than what you might first yeah. think because the first the first like sort of canary in the coal mine kind of thing the first warning is like 
they start saying that they're, they're rats, they're, they're dogs, they're pigs yeah. to this group of people. And that's usually preceded by some awful tragedy. Holocaust. Yeah. So I think that you're still, you're still kind of in the camp of like, how do we, who, we get to determine the outcome of an animal because we're a human being. And I say that that's like human supremacy, where we're saying, we're saying um, we, are, we are better, we are more special. And uh, we get to dictate, you know, if, as long as we treat them, like, these are like kind of our own rules we're making up. Yeah. Because I, I don't think we're, we're caring about treating them cruelly because we care about the animal. I don't think. No, we're, it, we're, we're, yeah. It's more about how it reflects on us, how we feel guilty for it, yeah. I believe. Like you might feel bad knowing that an animal is tortured so you could eat them, but you don't mind if they weren't tortured and lose their life yeah. so we can eat them. To help us sleep at night. Yeah. And, and, and that's... Because it keeps being brought back. And like I said, when I first sat down, I'm like, I don't know much about the situation. I don't know much about the thing, but I want to learn more. And so I think from what I'm going to get from everything you've said so far and will say is that, like, if I need some food later, I'm not saying that I'm not going to get meat, but it will call into question and it will be yeah. in my head. And I, and, and, and I think that's one of the beautiful things about this kind of thing, mm. which is why I want a conversation and why yeah. I think conversations are good because it calls into question. And maybe the next person, you speak the exact same thing to them and it doesn't just call into question their own structures. It, it makes them change their mind yeah. entirely. And that's one more person. But so, so recently, uh, during the first lockdown, I got very into uh, liberalism, uh, libertarianism, sorry. Libertarianism. Okay. Um, and, and personal freedom and the ability to, to dictate what you do with your own self and to an extension that would come through as to I want to eat meat but when it comes to something like personal freedoms you're essentially taking away the personal freedom of the animal by killing them and eating them so it works both ways doesn't so it works it? both are you, ways are you trying to say because when, when it comes to what's this libertarianism philosophy it's like it's big on personal freedom yeah, so, but, yeah. but if I take away your personal freedom mm. um, I, I, I just want you not to respect mine yeah. and I respect yours. Yeah, and, 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 and so it's, it's essentially uh, one of the main belief systems in it and it's, uh, unfortunately it's been co-opted by a lot of nastier people but you do whatever the f*** you want, I do whatever the f*** I want. If it doesn't harm me and you don't harm me and I don't harm you, do whatever you want. And so so it's an all-encompassing philosophy? Yeah. Okay, and the animals are excluded from that one? Yeah, because we have a similar philosophy. Mm. I just include, I just include the animals in there. Mm. Like you can do whatever you want in the bedroom and your personal life. You can yeah. like the music you want. You can eat nothing but bloody fried, I don't know, chips. You know, I'm not going to come up to you and go, I'm the health police. Yeah, it's your choice. I mean, if you're my friend and you're smoking cigarettes, I'm going to say, dude, are you? Come on, man. Like I love you, mate. Don't do that. But like, if you, I'm not, I don't go up to people smoking cigarettes and go, hey, you shouldn't have the freedom Fire to keep yourself. Then, yeah. You know, but um when others are involved. That's why people go, oh, vegans are forcing their beliefs on me because they want me to be like them. But they're them. not, they're just counting, we're, they're proposing another viewpoint. We're stopping, we're defending the animals mm. from being attacked by people. Yeah. So it's way different, it's a way different dynamic here. Mm. I'm not saying, oh, you shouldn't have wore all black today, man. Like, what are you doing? Like, you should wear like this blue shirt. It's like, no, when you wear that black, an animal is being executed against their will. Can mm. you stop harming the animals? That's what, that's the, the difference. Yeah. Let, put yourself in the, this is what I said, put to, I get people to try to put themselves in their mind, in the animal's mm. position. And what do you think would be a, like if you're a, if you're a chicken, mm. like what defense do you think you deserve? Would you want? What defense would you want? Weapon of some kind against the farmer. You would want, you would want direct action yeah. sort of defense, wouldn't you? Yeah. To stop, yeah, yeah. I mean, we know that eating animals is, is illegal, so we, don't, we, we can't continuously do that type of thing. So the best, the best sort of weapon we have to be able to be in a fully functioning society mm. and, you know, is, is to try to change the consciousness of people and hopefully affect uh, the culture. You know, so it's, it's not like I'm saying, oh, you've got to choose between a human and a chicken right now. Here's a gun to your head. Of course you're going to choose. I would choose the human. Yeah. If it's you and the chicken's here, it would be very sad. Uh, it would be a sad thing to do, but I would choose you in, a, in that type of situation. So you would, you would yeah. place... A, so you, you place a higher... Um, it depends who you are, but you seem nice. Mm. If you were Hitler, then then oh, well, if you were Hitler, that, no, I'm choosing the chicken. Yeah. But so it depends on the person, but a chicken's you, you, so a chicken's value is always the same in your opinion. But the human's value is is different depending on the person they can be. I think be. most chickens, you could agree that most chickens, uh, you know, well, you, they're not 
Yeah, yeah, humans, yeah, 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 humans yeah. are like, uh, you know. Yeah, awful And people. you seem like you would change too. You don't seem someone like someone who's just going to be like, nah, I'm starting a chicken farm tomorrow and I'm going to kill hundreds of thousands of chickens mm. and cause all of this suffering throughout my life, mm. then I might be leaning towards choosing the chicken yeah. who's going to cause less suffering. Over, but like, um, so like, I'm not asking people to do that. People think that I'm just I'm asking them to choose a chicken over a person. No. You don't care about people. Well, no, I'm just saying choose the chicken's life over a sandwich and choose a different sandwich. Yeah. That's, how, that's how easy it is. It's not like, you can go right there at Burger King, you can get a vegan chicken burger or you oh, can yeah. get the real chicken burger. No. Yeah. You know, and you, like, why not? Change just what you choose. Yeah. And so we've spoken about my like hypothetical like putting a bolt in their head and like what what I would want, but I'd, I'm actually quite interested to know what you like well, what, what, what your dream world and not just because we've mostly spoken about eating animals, but also in regards to because I've seen recently uh, the exposés on, on on Gucci and Louis Vuitton with their snake skin and how like they're just wearing like, animals foul. And- Foul. Yeah, testing on animals. Ironically. And, you know, um, uh, there's some horrible things. That, yeah. Veganism is a philosophy that encompasses exploitation and cruelty to animals, mm. period. You know, there are areas of our life that you can't avoid humans or animals being harmed. Yeah. Practically, like in a, in, a, in a practical sense, you can't exist in society without there being a level of harm because of civilization. Mm. Uh, cultivating crops causes harm, causes harm to humans and animals that are in those crops. But in order to, to to not cause any harm, you'd have to not have civilization. Yeah. We'll not have hospitals, and so there's a, there's a there's kind of like this threshold, right, of harm. That in order to have all of this well-being in, in society, there's going to have to be a, a certain level of harm. Exactly. But when you do the massive holocaust of animals on top of it, this massive, huge, like constant breeding and killing of animals on top of it, I'd say that's unju- completely unjustified. Well, we already cause this harm from having civilization, justified harm, I would call it. Why would we need to like do all this? mass killing for a sandwich on top of it. So you're saying that there is a, in, in your, like, well, not in your fantasy, but in, in, in actual life, there is a line to which uh, it's okay to do it because it benefits humanity. And then anything above that is is too far. I think that there's this threshold that yeah. if you threshold. didn't meet this threshold, then the, the, the amount of suffering would be mm. so much worse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, we, if you're talking about we can't cause harm, we can't have hospitals, we can't have dentists, we can't have civilization, yeah. you know, um, uh, crops. We can't cultivate crops because there's going to be insects and animals harm. But then all people are going to die. The world is going to descend into like, you know, if you took away civilization, we'll live out in nature. There'll be more, much more suffering. Than mm. we, you're talking about taking us back, you know, into, yeah, so, well, into medieval yeah, times. Yeah, so, so there's, this, thre- there's also this threshold where sometimes there's going to be some humans and animals caught up in, you know, but to, to create this massive killing on top of it. I it's just it's, it's, it's extreme. It's it's more it's than we need. It's unjustifiable. Yeah, and and so that's I like that because like like I said, oh, that's not good. Um, like I said earlier, like when when vegan comes to mind, you think of like people who prefer animals to humans, and so it's 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 nice to have it reaffirmed that that's not the case. You like like you said, you 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 pick I, the I human over some a chicken. People, I prefer you because I've met you now to the stranger over there. Yeah, I, I prefer my brother over you. I'm shooting oh, you well. for my before my brother. Yeah. You know, like, so I'm shooting you over my mum. Mm. But that doesn't mean that you and my mum should have different rights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, it's, it's, it's it, again, it's... If I had a pig, for example, two pigs. I had one pig at home. I love this pig. Mm. You know, there's another pig I don't know. I'm going to say, I'm so sorry, but oh, I love my pig. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't yeah. mean these two pigs should have different rights. That's not what I'm asking people to do. Like, no. I'm just asking to, like, uh, you know, not stab animals in the throat like for a the sandwich. Like saw, yeah. <laughs> like... To, you know, like a quick meal that goes away. Mm. You know, and everyone does it. Everyone participates, and a lot of people have the same view that you have about it should be done more humanely. Yeah. When often, it, most of the time, it's it not. It doesn't. Yeah. And and that's the lie we tell ourselves. Like I said, to sleep at night. Yeah. And 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 it's and it's what we say because we know that's not what's happening. No. Like I I, I know for a, well not for a fact, but it's like you just know that like you go into McDonald's, none of this has been done ethically or sourced. And this is so another another part about libertarianism is is a distrust of the government. Yeah. Uh, and any government. And so I saw th- something recently where it's like, uh, you go into McDonald's, um, a, a meat meal, right? So burger, chips, fries, uh, and a drink, right? It's like £3.45. A salad there is £4.95 on its own. Accessibility. Right? And so, and it's, and that's purposely been done by um, the government and by big, uh, big food, just because that's, that's easier to sustain. It's been lobbied by the gov- uh, by people to uh, get the government to make it cheaper. Subsidised animal products are subsidised as well. And it's and it's and it's foul um, that it, that's 
that's what's happening. And so I think a lot of the times it's like not not for me, right? Because I'm I'm blessed uh, like by God enough to be able to go to somewhere if I so choose, like a farmer's market, right? Mm. And buy all locally sourced vegetables and shit. Right? I'm blessed to have that, but some people don't. No, no, no. Yeah, and, yeah. and so I know, I know that's not what you're suggesting is that those people just starve, and no one's suggesting no, that. No, no. I don't see me. But a lot of people veganism get that has to be practically uh, achieved. Like, yeah. like, like what people think is that veganism is this philosophy where you cause no harm whatsoever, no matter how justified. Hmm. Like, no, I believe even killing is justified in certain situations. That's yeah. not my philosophy. Like, you know, killing you to save the rest of the world. I'm killing you straight away. You yeah. know? Like, so killing you kill me to save the rest of the world i believe even though i'm going to die that that is justified because i'll just look at the you know so that's not what veganism is and it's not like you have to just eat this organic berry that grows on this random tree in the mm. fucking, it's it's got to be practically achieved by civilization and then you sort of weigh up this threshold thing you know what i'm saying mm. so yeah, yeah, yeah it's that principle that philosophy that you try to that that's your core and you just don't be ridiculous about it you know what i mean exactly yeah because i know i know people uh who go to my church who 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 like they cut down they have one meat meal a week they they started off uh, like three meat meals a week because they realized they were eating it with every meal they cut it down to three then they cut it down to one and it's like you said we're trying to figure out where that threshold is of where you can still maintain like the mentality that you want but also realize that you have an impact I wouldn't include animals within that threshold though. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. because it is a necessity. So, basically, if I wanted to eat, <laughs> so, so imagine all the well being that you're experiencing and, and are going to experience throughout your life. You're going to experience some suffering, but let's just say um, I'm like, you know what? My threshold is one piece of you each day, uh, yeah. each day for, a, or what, say, three times a week, I'm going to eat a piece of you, so I'm going to go kill you, and just to get this small amount of pleasure from it. Mm. I wouldn't say that that meets the threshold for justifying no. to kill you. I'm not saying with animals, you know, but um, if you were to say, uh, we got we to eat fruits and vegetables and, nuts and, and rice and stuff from the supermarket, um, it's gonna be wrapped in plastic, there's gonna be um, animals that die in the crops somewhere along, along the line. You're not responsible for all of those animals, but because yeah. you're only eating a certain amount of calories from that crop. Yeah. But that, that's what I'm talking about, like civilization, we gotta get a car, we're gonna have to use some oil in it, you know? but not I'm going to shoot you in the head to eat some of your body for a bit of taste pleasure. I don't think that meets. No. So what, what is something, so anim, animal testing obviously not would, wouldn't meet your threshold. Unless it was something like, so say this is, a, this is hyperbole, right? But, or hyperbole or whatever it's called. But um, like say the, the, the only way, right, to, to, to get this life-saving cure was animal testing. Would it be better that millions of animals suffer through animal testing than getting the life cure because i know you've spoken about like the, the uh, milli uh, yeah, it depends there's a threshold there's, there, still there, a there's, threshold. there's still a threshold for me like it's called threshold deontology I'm, i don't know that much about it but this is the one that that sits the best with me this is the mm. type of moral system that sits best with me and um so is there a threshold where like you grab me you put me in a lab mm. and you have to do the test on me against my will to stop this, this world being tortured for infinity or something like this. So there would have yeah, to be- i do it. There would be, there would be this threshold that, yeah. that would be met. I don't, there, um, so for example, cosmetic testing oh, yeah, it's is pointless. for- Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, I, I, yeah, I think it's illegal in the UK. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it is, yeah, to, uh, to my knowledge, yeah. For example, if, you're, if you go vegan, right? You go vegan and you're like, oh, well, uh, medication, you know? Medication is a different sort of thing because medication, it's, it's they legally required to test on animals. Yeah. So when it comes to supply and demand, if you go buy a burger, another animal is going to be, have their head cut off, slaughtered for that burger. Yeah. You're, when you buy, say, aspirin, that 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 aspirin's been tested on animals before. So when you buy that aspirin, you're not encouraging, you're not, you're not encouraging. incentivizing yeah. more, well, yeah, more testing. I, I take daily medication, and so like I didn't know that it was it was a requirement. I, I, so so they would have tested on those animals before it was even released to human trials. Exactly. And then and then that's it. And now it doesn't need to be anymore. Of course not. And so and so that that in my mind. So I my, don't think, but I do still think that animal testing is outdated and doesn't work because you can't take a rat and apply that model to a human being because because. Uh, medications and chemicals act differently inside of a rat than they do to people. Yeah. Now, practically, I don't think animal testing works, mm. but uh, principally, if it if it really did, um, even if it was a human, I do think there's a threshold. There's definitely a threshold. Okay. But like, yeah, you know, that's subjective, and 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 that's, it is and that's the problem. I think, but I think though, a lot of threshold people mm. have similar ones. You you would be able to get everyone really in a, in a range, mm. unless you're like an outlier. 
Because then I say, okay, put yourself in the animal's position, mm. it just for, or put a dog in the animal's position. Yeah. We could see if they contradict themselves. You know what I mean? And uh, most people are pretty rational and they would, you'd be able to find a pretty good middle ground. So it is subjective, but your belief is that, aside from the outliers, which shouldn't be counted anyway, because that's the whole point of outliers, is that they, the average person would believe in, in a similar threshold. So like we just went through your moral system and mm. you know, I think we got to you, you to a point where like, we, we, got to the, we got to Jonathan actually, mm. and you still thought it was okay to kill Jonathan? Yeah. Okay, but, but let me find where your, where your barrier is. Like I wanna find where you, where you don't think it's okay. Would it be okay to kill um, a human being? No. Okay. I mean, uh, what, just like a random person that I see on the street? Yeah, so they've had, and I'm talking the justification is, mm. They're happy, mm -hmm. they haven't been treated cruelly, mm. but your justification is the same taste pleasure you get from eating animal products or using animal products. No, I don't, I don't think okay. it's... And that's with Jonathan as well, you know that, right? Yeah. So with Jonathan, it is justified for the same level of pleasure? So, so because my belief is, it's difficult because I have a confliction, right? As a, as a religious man, I, I have a confliction of, okay, God put these animals here, but also everything's made in God's image. But so I believe that, yes, Jonathan, so my threshold would be the dog. So basically, so a human. For, no. for, for the pleasure you get from a burger, mm. it's okay to kill a happy dog? Yes. Okay, but for the human, there's, some, there's something different and you believe mm. that difference is... I'm not saying that I would do it, I'm just saying that I think it's okay for someone, for someone to do. Because uh, who am I to say that it's not? But a human, I think, so a very rational... So you wouldn't do it, why wouldn't you do it? Because you, 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 you would do it if it was a cow. Yeah. So there is a bit of inconsistency there. So you wouldn't there do is, it to yeah. the dog, not Jonathan, because you have a personal mm. attachment to Jonathan. Just say a, a dog like Jonathan. Mm. You wouldn't do what happens to this hypothetical cow in the humane situation to a to a happy dog in the same situation. Yeah. You wouldn't do it. No, I wouldn't. But then again, I probably also wouldn't kill a cow because I don't know if I've got that in me. I'd, okay. And here's the thing, I'd, I'd like to know if I did. Could you pay for me to kill the dog, the happy dog? How much you, you charge? Me, no, which same about, you get, buy a burger for what, yeah. five, five quid or something? Well, if I was not benefiting benefiting from it, then I'd have no reason to. You're benefiting because you're just basically, I'm the, I'm the store. You come in, you give me the money at the store, however much you buy for a burger. There's a dog there, happy dog, five years they've been living, mm. happy dog, get him in a dark room, bang, shoot him in the head. I cut him up, make him into a burger mm. for you, give it to you, and you yeah. eat it for that five minutes of taste pleasure. Would you be okay with doing that? This is the happy dog scenario. No cruelty. You've, you've got me. You've got, you've done me in a loop there. It's the same thing. Yeah. But with the cow, you're, you're, you do, this is what you do every single day. Except you don't, because you're paying for- For someone else for, to do it for you. Yeah, but you're also paying for all the cruelty that you're against. Mm. Because I've been investigated for a while, I've been in the movement for a while, animal rights movement, I know what happens in the industry. And it's a, it's a jungle, man. It's crazy what, what they do to yeah. animals. So you're paying for something way worse, actually. But even your hypothetical, you wouldn't do for the dog. But the cow, you pay me, let's just say, let's change the dog now. It's a cow now. Mm. You pay me for the burger, five minutes taste pleasure. There's a cow there, happy cow, Daisy. Let's call, it, call the cow Daisy, very stereotypical cow. And I shoot the cow in the back of the head, dark room, cut them up, cut their head off, make you a burger. Are you okay with that? You know what my answer is gonna be. It's yes? You're okay with that? Yeah. <sighs> That's interesting. And even if you saw me do it? Yeah, probably. Cut their head off. Blood I, coming out. Mm. They don't. They're, they're unconscious at this point, though. Yeah. They don't feel pain. Bang. Cut their head off. And then yeah, yeah. You still okay? With that? Yeah. And 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 you knew that was going to be my answer. And so this. I didn't. Is just... I didn't actually know that. But you, did you, you know? You have a very. You have a very big contradiction there. And I know. A, and the that's... only thing there to because a, a dog and a cow are very similar in their intelligence, uh, the way they learn. Yeah. You know. Um, so the only thing separating you there is speciesism. It's yeah. discrimination because there's nothing morally different about those two animals. So it's, it's only your programming. Yeah. You think that cow's, it's bad for a cow. Sorry, it's bad, bad for, for a dog. dog. Then it's, yeah. And that's, and like I said earlier, that's the way our society has been. That's you. These, these, you're, no, you've been affected by society. So, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. so my, my beliefs that have been a product of like same here. my parents. Yeah, exactly. But you've managed to find a way Undo out of it. the matrix. Yeah. Undo it, yeah. So and it's and it's not something that I so like like I like I said I want to learn something and it's not something that like maybe I sat down with like less of an open mind because I, I sat down with like the, the knowledge that I, I don't want to stop eating meat because it's it's nice like Everyone a nice does. a nice like, steak yeah. from Helios yeah. Steakhouse there. I used to eat all the time, steak. bro. I was mm. a massive steak eater. Yeah. Twenty six years, you know. And it's and it's 
and like I said, you knew what I was going to say, and I sounded pissed off, but I wasn't. I was more impressed at uh, the way you, you got me to admit my own contradiction. And I think that's uh, the next person who sits down, that's going to be the same. Like, I, like nine times out of dude. ten, it's going to be the Very similar. same. And I would have probably sat down with me ten years ago, or, yeah, it, it and it would have been. been a similar conversation. Yeah. And it's all programming. Mm. So and how would you propose that I, mm. since, since your, your want is to, to change my mind, right? Yeah. How, how would you, like, other than the conversation we've had, what steps could I do? I would ask you to be consistent, and I'd ask you, to, in order to be consistent, then your actions should reflect your morals. Yeah. If you don't, and, and also, like, not just that, to be consistent about the animals, too, because if you wouldn't want it done to a dog, you shouldn't want it done to a cow. A cow, yeah. So for every cow burger I eat, should eat a dog one and in also, my in my if we want to talk about mentality too like you sh if you if you, you there are human beings with similar intellects to certain animals because of the way that they were born yeah and if you wouldn't agree with, with what we do to a cow to be done to that human being mm. then you also have a contradiction and, th and then there's only species separated there too human being you might think we're special because of god or something but um really we're all i'm trying to like trait equalize yeah. these beings you yeah because I mean? when because when because when you think about it, like one of the justifications for eating meat is, oh, they're 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 not uh, of the right. They're not they're not of the same level as humans. But then when you put it into context of, because I, I used to be a, uh, a support worker for people with learning disabilities. Yeah. So so I know what it's like when someone has a less than less than developed brain for and whatever we protect reason. Them. Yeah, we, we protect look after them. them. And so when you put it into the context, I'm not saying that those people are like animals. No one get that twisted, right? No, no, you're but, not. You're not lowering them down. No, to, but what, you're what saying, we're saying is their intellect is the similar. Their experience could be very similar. Yeah. Because they don't uh, have rational thought the same yeah. way. But you, even you could, even if it's hard to think of them, if they exist or not, you can create the hypothetical anyway. Yeah. You know, like hypothetically, if someone did have that same mentality as a cow, would it be okay to kill them if they were? A yeah, human? and that's my. That's that's what I'm th saying. Is that is that that when you put it into that mindset and that context. Really hard to argue against. Yeah, without sounding like a hypocrite. Yeah. Just going, well, well I, can, I contradict myself every day. Mm. And then that's the first step, feeling like that it's cognitive dissonance. Mm. It's where like your actions are disaligned, your emotions and your actions are like how you feel about something, how you, what you believe is yeah. not aligned with your actions. If you couldn't kill the cow as well, well, that's another thing. Yeah, why should I be allowed to eat it if you I. You can pay someone else to do the yeah. dirty work. Like, you know, if I can't kill you and I pay some other hitman to do it, like, I'm still responsible, but also I'm a bit gutless. Like, if I want to kill you so much, why don't I just go out and do it? Yeah. You know? So it's, easy to, it's easier to commit atrocities when you're, you're detached. Yeah. It's easier for people in the office to push a button on the nuclear bomb or to send soldiers out to die in war, or for you to push a button on a cow, for, for just, you know, to go all these steps removed and to do this to a cow, it's much easier that way. And that's why yeah. there's this disconnect. And that's why there's McDonald's in every corner that you go to, because they're the middleman in a sense, yeah. or and probably the, the third man. All these butchers, you walk in, there's all this, all this advertising, mm. or humane, traditional, uh, local family. Yeah. I get the cameras in there, and that's it's insane cruelty, and violence, and torture. So, but um, let me just give you this as a practice because I yeah. think we've we've sort of come to the conclusion yeah, now. And there's other people I, I don't want to take up. So this here is a little leaflet. You can just scan it, and um, you should be able to download it. That has got like, some little places to go. If you ever wanted to go into these places, fast food, there's mm. plant-based options in there as well. Oh yeah, I get uh, when I go, I, I prefer the McPlant to yeah. any of the like yeah. other options. So yeah. I only get McPlant from yeah. McDonald's. So maybe some nuggies, but yeah. But I'd also ask people to do it. It's a challenge twenty-two. It's a vegan okay. challenge. I listen, mate. Good talking to you, brother. Pleasure. That was great. Thank you. God bless Fantastic, you. Fantastic, yeah? mate. I appreciate it a lot, mate. Take care. God bless. Stay safe.